Hi, this is Dr. Naidu, and in honor of the Thanksgiving weekend, I thought we'd do something different. Instead of cutting up turkeys, we're going to cut up some implants. And this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I did an implant cutting video a few years ago, um, but we now have a new implant on the market from a company called Motiva. And I'm really interested in seeing what's inside those implants. So two disclaimers. One is I do not use this knife for food. I stopped eating meat about 10 years ago. So this knife basically sits around. The second is that I promise this company has not sponsored this video in any way. So here are the three implants we're going to work on today. Um, these are all silicone uh, implants. They have a silicone shell and a silicone gel. This one is from Sientra. This is a sample. This one is from Allergan. Their brand name for this implant is Natrell. And this one is a new implant from a company called Motiva. Um, I do not have a mentor implant here. I just don't use them, so I don't have any samples in my office. But it's going to be very similar to these two. The mentor implant, I'll say, just from personal use, is a bit softer. Um, but I don't use it because I find that it also has a slightly higher rupture rate. So um, at any rate, we're going to start with these guys. Now, as I mentioned, there are all three silicone implants. You'll notice the Motiva implant is a bit more opaque, and that's because it has a different type of surface. It feels very smooth, but it has a nano-textured or micro-textured surface, depending upon how you'd like to discuss it. And um, I'm going to do another video just about this implant because it was just approved by the FDA for use in the United States uh, about a month or a month and a half ago. So it's still a new implant. I haven't used it in any patients yet, so I'm still reading about it and learning about it. But I'm really interested to see what it looks like from the inside because it's supposed to be a little bit more structured than these guys. So let's start with the Allergan implant. And let's see if we can get in here. So the reason why I like doing these videos is so that you can really see inside. We always talk about what happens if a silicone implant ruptures, and the idea, the thought commonly <clears throat> is that the gel will just ooze out all over the place. So if you cut open the implant, you can see it's a really pretty cohesive gel. It really sticks to itself, and this is not one of their um, textured or anatomic implants, which have a more cohesive gel. It's not a gummy bear. This is what's considered to be a cohesive gel implant, and you can see it does stick to itself. So I'm just going to mush it around. And you can see it's got the silicone shell on the outside. You can see that shell and then the gel on the inside. And it's pretty gooey, but it's sticking to itself. OK, so let's move on to Sientra. This is the one I use the most often in my practice. It, every surgeon's different. I personally have just found a very low <clears throat> rupture rate with these implants, as well as a, um, a low rate of capsular contracture. So, that's just my personal preference. OK. So again, it's a pretty cohesive gel. I don't see much difference. This maybe feels a touch softer to me than the Allergan implant, but just, just a hair. And um, I'm kind of curious at looking at the shell of the implant, the silicone shell. So you can see a really well-formed shell here on the Allergan implant. <clears throat> on the Sientra implant, also, it's a pretty well-formed shell. You can see a couple of millimeters there. And it's just, it's sticking together pretty nicely. And I'm going to kind of touch this. And you can see it's, it's a little bit gooey. It's a little bit sticky. So if it were to rupture, this is what you'd have on the inside of the capsule around the implant. OK, so let's move on to the Motiva implant. And here I'm really curious. And again, a really, really cohesive silicone gel. I would say maybe it's a touch just from squeezing it and feeling it. It's a, it is more cohesive than the other two. It's a bit of a firmer implant. And let's look at this shell, because one of the things the implant company says is that their shell is more closely incorporated to the gel. I'm not stating their exact terms exactly, but that's one of their claims. And if I'm trying to pull the shell of the implant away from the gel, I can't do it. So it is pretty firmly, really quite cohesive. But otherwise, it looks not unlike the others. So let's put the Motiva next to the Allergan, I'm sorry, the Sientra implant. So yeah, it does look a little bit more solid if you look at it. It's a smoother surface when we've cut it. This is the Sientra implant again. 
And I can actually pull the shell away a little bit from the implant, which is interesting, which we couldn't really do. Could do it, yeah, not so much with the Motiva. The gel is coming up a little bit with it, but yeah, we can get it up a little bit. Okay, and then with the Natrell implant, which is manufactured by Allergan, yeah, you can separate out the shell from the gel, as you can see. So of the three, this is Allergan, this is Natrell, this is Sientra, and this is Motiva. So not much, not a dramatic difference between these implants. Frankly, I was expecting a bit more of a difference with the Motiva implant. I was expecting it to be even more solid than it is, although it looks pretty good overall. Um, the bottom line is that if any of these rupture in your body, you're not going to have stuff squirting out all over the place. I, I think patients have a lot of concern about that, which is understandable. When you put any implant into the body, whether it's a breast implant, hip implant, pacemaker, your body forms this little capsule or shell around it. And it will do the same thing with each of these implants. And typically we do expect the silicone to stay within that shell. And that's what I've observed whenever I've gone back for ruptures. Um, so with each of these, I expect that that silicone will continue to stay within that capsule and not squirt out, not do anything else based upon what I've done here. They really are fairly cohesive, all three of them. So I don't think there are any dramatic differences there. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I will do another video talking about the implants, specifically the Motiva implant, because that's a new one. And that, that shell is, um, according to the company, a very special shell that protects more from capsular contracture and doesn't have the same complications seen with some of our more highly textured implants. So that will be coming in the near future. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. And thanks for watching.